So if we see a product in town which is not locally made, if it's locally made, it should have our mark. If it's not locally made, it should have been imported. If it's imported legally, we should have seen it. So if you haven't seen it, then it did not come in legally. If we saw it, we would have no consent because we would have checked it met the requirements before it came into the country. As we went around, we have noticed that a lot of products are coming in from all sorts of routes. The Eastern Corridor in particular is a very busy place, and we are actually stepping up our services there. So now we know a lot comes in through there. Some disguise, some actually try to dump things through, through the beaches. So with these activities that we are doing, we have been working very closely with, with CID. Indeed, going around, we went around with them to be sure that it's not um, just a GSA activity. It's being run with the national security agencies. So the origin, it's very difficult to see one, one origin. We believe there are some which could have come in disguised through our official point of entry. That we are also working with customs closely to make sure that is stopped. But we know a significant number came in through the land routes, usually the eastern corridors, some also from the northern corridors. Now, when we take them, we test them. And what we are trying to do as GSA is to be sure that even if you bring it illegally, you cannot sell it. Why? As explained, we should have cleared it at the port. So if I see you selling something and we ask you, okay, where did it come in from? And you say, oh, through the port. Show me the documents. If there are no documents, you got it from Mr. B, we have to trace it. So now what we have done, we've been able to trace to quite a few of the, a lot of the products where the main suppliers are from. And as we speak, you would appreciate that we can't tell you everything about that because our job is not just to say you've picked it and we are picking it up and bringing it here. We have to remove the article from circulation. It's a health hazard and it cannot be kept there. So that means that you, you need to go and confiscate it. So that is number one. And that leads to the issue of the arrest. We don't arrest initially. You take the products, you test them. If they failed, then you apply the sanctions. Currently, if, you, if it's the labeling requirements, it's 500 penalty points which is about 6,000 cities per infraction. But if it's a critical thing which is beyond that, if it's the labeling requirement, we, we can force you to relabel the product so that you can sell it properly. But if it's critical, it's health, health and safety, it must be destroyed. And you pay for the cost of destruction. Then the law is clear on going to court and getting people to be jailed because unfortunately you cannot jail someone. Not unfortunately, the laws of Ghana, we live in a country, rule of law. Before anybody can be sent to court, the, the police has to arrange you and you go through the legal process. And we are, we, we, what we have said is that we would apply all the sanctions. There's nothing off the table. Because um, I think there, a lot of people feel like it's, it's just talk. And if people don't feel it, they wouldn't know that uh, we mean business. Mm -hmm.